Hey folks, it's Antar and I'm here to bring you yet another Little Cup battle. Um, my opponent today is once again Mr. Neely13 and he's running quite an interesting team. I'm not really sure what to expect from him, but you know, it doesn't matter uh, in terms of the selection screen because I'm just going to lead off with what I always lead off. I'm going to lead off with my uh, Onyx because it's such an effective lead for me. I don't think there's been one battle that I've had with this team where it hasn't managed to set up Stealth Rocks. Um, in Gen 5, thanks to the fact that you have uh, Taunters and Magic Bouncers, um, not as effective, so I don't really use it that way, but oh well. Anyway, my opponent leads off with a Scorapai, and I make a really, really stupid play here. I go for the Earthquake, forgetting, of course, that Scorapai is Bug Poison, unlike its evolutionary form, which is Poison, um, Poison Dark. Anyway, he survives and manages to set up a um, sun, uh, sunny day, and so thinking back over his team, I'm like, oh, that kind of makes sense. Um, he's got the uh, Execute, which is Chlorophyll um, boosted, so it's going to be fast as anything. Um, so anyway, he goes ahead and switches it out. I go ahead and set up Stealth Rock, um, but you know, limited utility now. Um, and I consider what to do here. I, do I leave and try Hulud for fodder? And I decide, no, I don't. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swap out and indeed swap in my Mankey, which I know can take one hit. Um, also, I was predicting the Sleep move here, and indeed he goes for the Hypnosis. I was actually expecting Sleep Powder, but Vital Spirit keeps me awake, and that is awesome. So uh, here I do another really bad move. I go for the Ice Punch instead of the Forks effective U-turn. I figured I didn't want to give him a switch advantage. Um, he goes for the Psychic. That's obviously going to get me down my Focus Sash. Um, but it's okay. Uh, I go ahead and go for the Ice Punch. Again, really poor move because Execute survives. It was only 2x effective rather than 4x effective, and now he's going to take me out on the next turn. And so that's awful for me. But oh well, it is what it is. Sacrifice my Mankey, and um, I'm starting to get worried here uh, what about you know how this battle is going to go because he's got the sun up. Oh, well, the sun goes down, so I did manage to stall him out. Um, in, ter in terms of the length of the sun, so I guess actually his Scorpi was not holding a light clay because that could not have been eight turns. Um, send up Brookside, gonna go for the extreme speed here, um, just to deliver the KO. Not sure who would have been faster, um, but it's a safe move anyway. Um, Execute is taken out, and that is awesome. And so next, my opponent sends out a Drifloon, so I think I figure that he thinks I might be banded. Um, and so might have to switch, but I'm not banded, and I'm going to go for the Dragon Dance. Uh, didn't realize that I was faster. Uh, had I realized that I was faster, I might have just gone for the straight up attacking move, but I didn't, so oh well. And it's going to cost me because he goes ahead and uses will o -Wisp. To which I figure, you know what, that's actually not the end of the world because I have Shed Skin, 30% chance of uh, recovering from my status conditions on any given turn. So uh, I'm just going to see how long it lasts. So I go ahead and go for the Waterfall here just to see how much it does. Looks like it's going to be a 2 hit KO after Stealth Rocks. He goes ahead and goes for the Shadow Ball. Uh, it does a decent amount, but I've got the Orin Berry and so I'm going to recover almost back to full health. So I'm not really fearing at this point. And I'm hoping to recover from burn, but alas, I do not, and I'm like, oh, man. Okay, so he goes ahead and calls out Drifloon here. Um, you know, makes sense. Uh, water, he was in with, within killing range. Goes ahead and sends out Squirtle. Um, but I decide that, you know, I didn't want to take the chance that there was min-max damage going on, so I decide to go for the Outrage, which is going to be do a lot more damage. Um, his Squirtle survives, but not with very much HP, and of course, again, Shed Skin does not kick in. I'm like, what the heck are you doing to me, Shed Skin? Uh, go ahead and go for the, uh, the next Outrage. It is going to be enough to take out his Squirtle, and that is great for me, um, in case his Squirtle wanted to spin away those rocks. Um, so again, no Shed Skin recovery. I'm like, what the heck? Come on, man. Okay, so he goes ahead and sends out his Hound, uh, his hound Dower here. Um, and I'm gonna, and, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna, I'm locked into Outrage, nothing I can do. He very wisely protects, um, just to try to stall me out. Uh, Outrage is blocked, and I believe that's my last turn of Outrage. Uh, and, and finally this turn I get my Shed Skin recovery, and I'm like, yes, no, I can sweep like a mofo. Um, so I'm gonna keep staying in, gonna go for the Outrage, and I'm just gonna be like, 
now it is my freaking game. I am confused, but I'm figuring, you know, 50% chance, like, oh no! So I hit myself in the confusion, and thanks to the fact that I'm at plus one attack, that does a lot. He goes ahead and solar beams. Not sure why, that was kind of a weird move considering Sun is not up, but I guess he didn't really have anything that would have done more. Um, kind of strange. Uh, so I'm gonna stay in, go for the outrage, I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm gonna hit this, obviously, right? 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 No! Hit myself in the confusion, and Dratini is taken out. That is the saddest thing ever. Poor baby Dratini. Uh, I always get sad when Dratini dies, because it's just such a cute Pokemon, and its dying animation is actually really cute. So now I am really glad that I, um, I... I'm actually really glad here that I did not leave in Shy Halud for Death Fodder earlier. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and go for the Earthquake here. Again, really stupid move. I should have predicted that switch. And indeed, he switches in Drifloon. And, um, you know, now he's down to pretty low HP. Um, but my Earthquake isn't going to do anything. And so I'm like, what is wrong with me today? I'm going to go ahead and call back Shy Halud. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and send out uh, Angler who's my special sponge, uh, gonna get hit by a shadow ball, does maybe a third? Uh, do I see a selection screen? No, I added all those out. Um, so a, about a third, I guess. Um, he goes ahead and hits me with another shadow ball, um, but I'm easily gonna be able to take him out. Uh, oh yeah, so I've got the orange berry, which is very, very nice for some recovery action. Gonna go ahead and go for the surf this turn, uh, just in case he wanted to switch out either of his other Pokemon. I figured it was the better move. Uh, I go ahead and take out Drifloon. Yeah, why would he switch out, though? Because he can't switch him back in, thanks to the Stealth Rocks. So, um, doesn't matter anyway. So, Surf is, does enough to kill. And next he sends out his Scorify. And I'm thinking, oh, geez, the sun's going to come back up. Um, oh, well. But amazingly, I actually go first. I looked it up. Um, this was probably a speed tie. I mean, uh, Cyndaquil has... Uh, two um, base points higher speed, but I don't think that matters in Little Cup, which is all done at level 5, And um, but it does indicate to me that he didn't invest anything in his speed, so that kind of makes sense. Anyways, Houndour is going to go for Dark Pulse here. Going to do a lot of damage. I don't know why I didn't go against, uh, for Dark Pulse against Trichini. I guess he figured I would switch, but anyway, um, I get flinched, and I don't want to sacrifice Angler, so I go ahead and call it back. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and send out Cyndaquil. Now, that might, you might think that's kind of strange. I mean, he's obviously doing Dark Pulse, and I, you know, why would I send in a Fire-type against him? But there's a strategy I want to try that I haven't really gotten to try before, so I just want to see how it's going to do. Um, Bernie's obviously faster. I don't think he runs a Soccer Punch. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Double Kick here, um, which is going to be super effective. Uh, and is actually on here to take out uh, Houndour, if I recall correctly. So anyway, yeah, Double Kick is going to be enough to take him out in one hit. So that's awesome, and now he's going to be down to his last Pokemon. Houndour is taken out, and he's forced to send out his last Pokemon, Cleffa. And so I'm like, sweet, it's super effective, this should be awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Double Kick. Oh, um, Bernie is so cute as it runs! Uh, so anyway, yeah. Does a lot less damage than I was expecting, but it is what it is. I mean, it's not like I am... I actually think I have invested a little bit in uh, attack, and it is running a neutral attack nature, but Cyndaquil doesn't have the best attack, and uh, Double Kick has awful um, base power. Anyway, he sets up a Reflect, and I'm like, wow, that's kind of strange. Um, luckily, I don't get Parahaxed here. Um, I think he told me later that his Cleffa didn't have any attacking moves, and so that's kind of that kind of sucks to have that be your last, last Pokemon, but... It is what it is. Um, great game, Mr. Neely13. Um, sorry, I mean, it was actually a pretty good match for a, a while. Uh, he outpredicted me at a few points, and I did a lot, of, a lot of stupid mistakes. But I think it was a good battle. I hope you do too. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.